going to get ready for the A final now. And this championship final will have Lee Summit in lane one. It'll have Park Hill South in lane two. MICDS in lane three. Rockhurst is in four. Lee Summit West is in five. Liberty in sixth. Blue Spring South in seventh. And Staley in eighth. Now, Rockhurst and Lee Summit West have separated themselves from the pack. They're three-tenths of a second difference, but they are... Um, over a, a second faster than the third place team MICDS and then it's a big jump up over three seconds more to the rest of the field so it's going to be those three going for the trophy here in this one sure looks like it they got the horses uh, I think we got an inquiry here so we might have a DQ we're going to wait and see or we've got a technical issue one of the two might be a technical problem with the block there in lane eight yeah, if they need to adjust that back foot drop and it's not moving. I'll start a little groundswell now. Coach mentioned to me yesterday and last night that there are such things as um, impulse touch pads that you can get for these relays, right? So it syncs up the diving block and the starting block, excuse me, and the touch pad for these relays. And coaches and parents around Missouri, if there's a donor out there that's got a kid that's swimming, you got a lot of money that's just laying around <laughs> cash-wise, Get a hold of Coach Shally. He can put you in touch with the right people because we could really use those here at the state meet. Um, they, we see kids get DQ'd. Sometimes it's a, it's a judgment call. Why take the, Let's take it out of the hands of the officials so they don't have to make that call. But they exist. You say they have them at all the NCAA meets now. Every NCAA meets has to have them. They got them at the national and international level. You see them at some of the national level meets too, Coach. So, you know, it'd be nice to have those here for a big meet like this at State. Looks like they're putting cameras with them now, too, to make sure that they get it absolutely right. And that technology is pretty cheap, folks. You get a webcam, a high-def webcam that syncs right into with any technology you got. You probably have a 10-year-old kid that can program it for you. <laughs> so, you know, it could work out. Maybe, maybe there's a young engineering student out there needs a senior project. Well, there we go. Needs a capstone project. Get her over here to the Recplex. Let's get this set up for next for the girls. I'm going to put a challenge out there to somebody. Let's get it set up for the girls. Then we just got to change the rules. Let the Federation allow it. <laughs> well, I, I, you know people. I'm going to let you push that one through. I know I know you can campaign with the best of them. I, I better call Becky Oaks real quick. There you go. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, remember now, the record in this one, they're looking for a 124.56. Anything 125.5 and below will make All-American. He wants to go out and try and take the early lead. Rockers is in four. Lee Summit West, they're number one and two points wise. Looking really strong in lane three. We talked about MICDS. It's really going to probably be a three horse race between those three and this one. Uh -oh. There'll be some good swims in this also. You look at Liberty in lane six right there. They came out fast. Slow exchange for West. They lost a little time, but they're still up in the lead. They're going to have to really pick it up, though. They need the 40 points if they want to compete for the trophy. Liberty North and looking very strong as well. Excuse me. Liberty looking very strong. They got those bright pink caps. We it mentioned those rock. yesterday. Really easy to pick up. Oh, MICDS exchanges. right in there as well. MICDS has hit their exchanges as so as Rock, and they're gaining time on West because of it. Well, but it doesn't seem to make any difference yet. The swimmers right now for the Titans have been very strong in the water. It's going to be about this last exchange and then that turn. Here we go, folks. First one into the wall here. It'll be the Titans, followed by Rockhurst, then MICDS. Great start. It was a good start on that That's one. A good start. Off the wall here. There may not be enough pool left after uh, this underwater. We'll see. Is. Well, We're the Titans have done nice their job swim. in the relay. Nice They're going to bring swim. this one home. Rockhurst will take second place. They'll get the points. Three. And there it is. They got 124 it. 20, folks. They got it. 124 20. We talked about that record at the 124 56. And for the second time, we've got a relay record. Well, they needed the points. They didn't care about the record, but that's a nice 
Plus, they get the record and the points in that one. Rockers, very strong as well. They're at a 126-8, uh, 125-18. Third place in that one in MICDS. Rounding it out, it's Park Hill. <laughs> Excuse me. 20.3 anchor for West. Really nailed it. Man, that was, was great that close. Was absolutely spectacular. Liberty gets fifth place, sixth place in that heat. Lee Summit. And then Staley and Blue Springs South.